Hello, it's another week and it's another midweek message. I wanted to share with you today here from this porch setting at Viking Soul. It is a spot of a building that is just very odd and different. This trailer is big, it's bulky, it's, it's a construction trailer. It's got some interesting features to it, but this porch has seen a lot of travel and a lot of wear and tear. And I'm sitting on this porch because at 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you've received mercy. So many times in this world, I hear of people feeling disconnected. They feel alone, they don't feel a part of something, but this scripture tells us that we are part of something bigger. Do you ever think for a moment that you're an agent of change? Because the fact that you have light in you, that you shine out in the world, you are changing the world. And I think sometimes we don't recognize it. The mercy that we give out to others that we've received, that is changing the world. Acts of kindness, acts of love, caring about people, being in a relationship with people that are maybe not like you or that are like you. Again, it shows. I think many a times we take for granted that we're in the body of Christ. Today I was talking with someone about feeling a little outside or not or a little different than others. I've had these conversations many times over that people feel very unique and different. The fact is, the reality is this. You are unique and different. Everybody's unique and different. And we're chosen by God. And we're made in a very fun and interesting and different way. My hope is that this week is that you'll grab a hold of your uniqueness, that you'll grab a hold of your love that you have through the mercies of Him, and that some beautiful things will unfold as you pray to Him. I just ask that you spend some time praying. Listen to the Lord as He speaks softly. Listen to what might be there for you and engage in those wonderful spaces. Because when it's all said and done, you have a chance to change the space around you with the love that Christ has put in you to extend the mercy out to others. So I hope you get this. I hope this whole, you hold on to this this week, that you're not alone. You're part of the body of God. And if there's things that you want to talk about, drop them in the comments below. Drop me an email at sroth at lmc.org. Share this, like it. Hey, if you really feel blessed by this, just give it to a friend. See what happens. Help them not to feel alone and to get closer to God. God bless and have a great rest of your week.